In this tutorial, we're going to create a Polaroid effect that you can see in the very beginning of this video. It gives a real cool looking effect. So let's begin. So here we have my background. Let's make this 15 seconds long. And notice I have my safe areas turned on. Have your safe areas turned on for this uh, project. All you have to do is go to the grid and select safe areas. Okay, so cursor at the front. Go to event panel crop. Select 169 widescreen. So it fills the entire screen. Insert three video tracks. Now let's start in my import my photos. First photo. Make it 15 seconds long. Go to event panel crop. Make sure it's uh, 69 selected. Let's make this a little smaller. And position it up in this corner. Cursor at the beginning. Let's take a mask. Let's mask, mask it into a square. Now go to media generators. It's like solid color. It's like white. Get it in the second track. This would be our frame. So go to event pan crop. Select mask. Mask of a frame for the Polaroid image. Good. I'll copy this track, paste it below it, go to generate media, and we're going to change this color to black. This is going to be our drop shadow. And change the opacity. Because it's a shadow, we don't want it too dark. So right there looks good. So we cursor to the beginning. Go to event, hand crop. And just drag this over. And to the bottom to create a drop shadow effect. Make sure that's the first one. I'll speed this forward so you don't have to go through the boring part here and I'll stop it when we get to the, to the more important part. But we're going to create another photo here. So insert three video tracks. Okay, we're done with the uh, images and the uh, Polaroid effect. So let's insert video track. Now all these other tracks. Let's put this down. We want a free one at the very top. Now all these video tracks below here. Make compositing child. Click them all.
Now you should see parent motion. Click that. Six source alpha, 3D source alpha. Now let's make this zoom in. Keep it in safe areas. Let's see the keyframe at about uh, twelve seconds. Now we'll zoom down to the other image. So when you play it back, it's a little jerky right now because it's processing a lot. I could turn I could turn this down to draft. It makes it uh, not very nice to look at, but it will pre will preview smoother. Well, it should be smoother. Anyways, once it's rendered, it goes smooth. So that's all you have to do to create a Polaroid effect in Vegas. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching.